Hey everyone, it's Nate Johnson here at flyplugins.com. Welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the integration that we recently announced. It's a premium third-party integration between WP Courseware and BuddyPress. And in this video, we're gonna walk through how it works, how you set it up, and the ways that it can benefit you in increasing communication within your course. Now you can download BuddyPress itself for free at buddypress.org. You'll need three things to make all of this happen. Obviously, WP Courseware, BuddyPress, and the WP Courseware BuddyPress integration. And I'll provide a link to that, uh, that site at the end of this video as well as in the notes uh, below the video. But BuddyPress has a lot of really, really cool social networking features that you can use now within your courses. You can enhance user profiles. You can create user groups which are associated with courses. You can have activity streams so your students can share with others what they've accomplished uh, within their courses. You can have notifications so people can sign up for notifications to see what uh, their course mates have achieved. They can create friendships so that they can communicate with one another and they can do that through private messaging and they can also contact you as the instructor. So that's very, very helpful stuff. So what we have done with this particular integration, again, it's being offered by a uh, third party development company, but it takes all of these features of BuddyPress and it ties them to your WP Courseware courses. And you can see how all of this stuff would really benefit your students uh, and enhance their e-learning experience. So we'll go ahead and dig in here, and this is all set up on one of my local development environments, but I'm into the WordPress admin panel here. As you can see, I've downloaded, installed, and activated BuddyPress. I have WP Courseware installed and activated, and I have installed and activated the WP Courseware BuddyPress integration, which you can see here. And again, I'll link to that at the end of the video, but I have all those here. So let's go ahead and jump into how you start setting this up. So we have these three plugins installed and activated. What we're primarily going to be talking about in this video is the setup and configuration for BuddyPress and the BuddyPress WP Courseware integration. We're gonna make an assumption that you've had WP Courseware installed for a while and that you have already created your own training courses uh, if not, that's obviously a critical step to making all of this work. However, uh, we're going to walk through a few steps here. Now that we have those three plugins on our WordPress site here, the first thing we need to do is go over to our settings panel. We'll see that we now have a BuddyPress option. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to take us to the components tab. This is pretty important. We want to make sure we select all of these components and save our settings. These components are basically, you can change these later, but these components, uh, most of these, are going to be what ties into the integration with your WP Courseware courses. So I'll go ahead and save settings there. Within the main BuddyPress settings, BuddyPress will create pages when it's installed. So you can see here, we have some directories and some registration pages. Uh, so you can, you can choose to display a member list on a particular page, an activity stream page. You can actually just set these to none if you want. Uh, so you don't necessarily need pages for the stuff. We'll, we'll leave it as is for now. Uh, but this is going to be the most critical part of this. Make sure you have all of these components in, enabled at least when you start and go ahead and save those settings. Now, as I mentioned earlier, most of this functionality uh, between BuddyPress, well, all of it between BuddyPress and WB Courseware revolves around user groups. So the next step in the, pro in the process here is going to be going over to the groups uh, tab that it's now showing up in our WP admin dashboard. I can click on that. This would be a listing of any groups you've created for BuddyPress. Since we don't have any, I'm going to click add new. As you can see, that takes us over to the front end of our, of our uh, site. So what we need to do, we can see we have five steps to create a new group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this out and we'll go back through each of these steps. Okay, so now I have given my group a name, which is required. I've just named it after my course. I provided a group description here, which is also required. Once I do that, I can just click create group and continue. 
So this will actually create our new group within BuddyPress. You can see, see that step two is um, privacy options. This is the most important part of this. We're not gonna touch uh, group invitations because what happens with this integration between WP Courseware and BuddyPress is all uh, course enrollees are automatically enrolled within the associated group, BuddyPress group. So what I'm gonna do, the only thing I'm gonna change here in the second tab, I'm gonna set this to a private group. Again, I'll just leave this as is. I'm gonna hit next step. We'll go over to the third step here. I can upload a, uh, a photo, a profile photo, just most of you have done this on Facebook. Uh, so let's see, I've got one here, place that in there. Okay, we'll just crop this, looks good. Next step, cover and image. Again, these are just going to display uh, for your group members on the front end, so We'll place one in here. All right, perfect. And step five, we could uh, uh, provide invites. We could invite people from our friends list. We just signed up, so we don't have friends on our list. So this is going to be displaying as blank here, but we're gonna go ahead and click finish. And if we flip back over to the back end, We'll see that in our groups uh, screen, we now have our Facebook marketing course group. Now that that group is created and configured, we can head on over to the next step. You can see in the admin dashboard here, we have a new tab labeled WP Courseware BuddyPress. If we click on that option, we can see that we are able to, we're now able to associate our WP Courseware course with this new BuddyPress group. So we have our course, we have our group, we have some other options down here. Again, I mentioned earlier, you can enhance user profiles. We're gonna go ahead and select all of these. This basically places the course outline that you're used to with WP Courseware right on the user's BuddyPress profile. So we'll just go ahead and add all of those uh, for the purpose of demonstration. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select all of the streaming activities uh, what would happen here if you select, this is where you can select which activities that you want one user to dis do publicly display to the other members of the group. So if you want people within your course uh, adding particular achievements to the course's uh, activity stream, you can choose that here again for the purpose of demonstration. I'm going to go ahead and select them all and I'm just going to save this up. So now I'm going to add some users to my Facebook marketing course, which will associate them with my new BuddyPress group. So I'll head on over to the uh, users panel within my WordPress admin dashboard. And you can see that I have created three users here. I have assigned them all access to our Facebook marketing course. What that does, it automatically enrolls them or uh, associates them with our new BuddyPress group. So if I go over to the groups panel, I can see that I now have three members within this group. I can go ahead and view that on the front end. And if I go to members, I'll see that I have uh, those three members here. Since they're enrolled in the Facebook marketing course, they are now part of this group. So now that I have my group created, associated with my course, and I have some members within this group who are enrolled in the course, what can I do? Well, we're gonna start, uh, I'm logged in here as one of the members of the group, Fly Admin, as you can see. The first thing I'm gonna do is add friends. I'm gonna click on each of the other students in my course here. I'm gonna send them a friend request. So I will log out as this user. I'll go in and accept those friendship requests as each of these other students. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have each of these three students go through some activities within the course. And let's take a look at what all this looks like. Okay, welcome back to the front end of our WordPress site. Pardon the totally vanilla uh, installation here and theme, but I've logged back into the site as Fly Admin. During the commercial break there, uh, basically I logged in as student three and student four. I accepted uh, the friendship requests for each of those. 
that have been sent by Fly Admin here. And for each of those students, just uh, they each completed some of the course activities, uh, quizzes, and sort of progressed through the course. So we can see we have some notifications up here now for uh, Fly Admin, and those are starting to come through. The first thing I'm going to do is go back over to the group screen here. And I'm going to click on our Facebook marketing course group. Again, we have three members or three students here. And if I scroll down, I will see that I now have an activity stream going on here. So I can see that student four has completed module two, uh, completed the course unit. So this just goes on and on. Since we've chosen to display all of these activities in our activity stream, they're all gonna be right here. So we checked out what's going on with other members in our course. We can obviously comment, we can favor it just like you would uh, within Facebook. We can post a status update here. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to go over to the member list. Now, if I scroll through here, I can see all of the members in this particular course. Uh, we're all in the same course. If I am a member of multiple courses, I could, I could filter here, I can see that I have friendships with both of these other students who are, who are enrolled in uh, Facebook marketing, my course. And since I am friends with them both, I've sent them friend requests and they accepted. I can click on their profile. I can check it out. I can send them a public message, a private message, uh, and we can just go on through Take a look at their profile, any notifications. So a lot that uh, a lot of ways for your students to connect here. So the last thing I want to take a look at, just to show you how comprehensive this is, is I'm going to take a look at my own profile, uh, my own BuddyPress profile. So I'm going to I'm just going to go back over through the member list, and I will click on my profile here. I can see that if I scroll down, uh, I can choose to, while well, I can view my own profile, I can take a look at any notifications for this particular course. And we've already talked about that. I can delete them. I can manage those here. I can check out any messages that I've received from, uh, from friends within my courses or other courses. I can obviously view my friends list. I can view the groups that I'm a part of. I can see those right here. Uh, and then I can take a look at my course progress. So any courses that I'm enrolled in, I can uh, open that right up and I can navigate the course from here. So you can see that this enhanced BuddyPress profile, it really is, uh, it kind of gives your students everything they need. Once they log in, they take a look at their profile. Uh, this is sort of their, their central point of reference for everything going on in the course, including navigating the course units. So. Uh, this obviously has a lot of value uh, for your courses. You can enhance communication between you and your students. Uh, if, if you're logged in as an instructor, you can receive messages, you can answer them back. Uh, and it really just adds a social element, uh, a connectivity element to your course. It enhances learning through connections. Students can ask one another questions, uh, get help. Um, and so, yeah, we really hope that you find this a, a useful tool. Okay, so as we talked about earlier, you need three plugins to make this all happen. You need WP Courseware installed and activated. Obviously, you need to have some courses created within that. BuddyPress, which you can download for free at buddypress.org or access it from within your plugins panel uh, in your WordPress installation or the wordpress.org repo. You also need the WP Courseware and BuddyPress integration plugin. You can find that at flyplugins.com slash BuddyPress. Again, that's a premium integration, but I think you're gonna find it well worth it once you get this set up for your courses and find out just how much it facilitates and enhances your e-learning experience. So thanks for watching. And as always, let us know if you have any questions or feedback.